Welcome to the 2024 Economic Preparation Channel. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday, August 18th, 2024 edition. I'm Tony. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get the latest notifications of when a new video is arriving here. And we appreciate your support and all that you do and your comments as well. Well, today I just want to talk about the consumer spending and the inflation report as well as gold going up surprisingly and as well as economic outlook in terms of recessionary pressures that are appearing to go down so on a roller coaster and one month with recessionary pressures go up the next month people are saying oh well, maybe it's not so bad and we may be able to make it through 2024 and 2025 without a scathing but prices are on the rise certain things like eggs are on the rise price of eggs and the price of oil gas is on the rise too as the kiddos get back to go back to school and as others go back to other places as well and they'll get ready for the fourth quarter of 2024 so let's get right into it ladies and gentlemen uh, consumer sentiment continues to pick up for the first time in five months in August. As we continue on here, you can see that uh, people are feeling a little bit better about this economy. Um, it's the first time in five months that it's picked up here. You can see shopping, you know, people may carry around one or two bags, a few things here, but we're getting close to the holiday season. As you know, Labor Day is the unofficial start of, um, and later on in September, the unofficial uh, end of summer and, and the start of the holiday season quote unquote so we're going to be seeing how, how how prices hold up for consumers in a lot of these places wall street sees gold nearing three thousand dollars after soaring more than 20 percent this year so gold apparently is going its way up and with these inflationary pressures we i expect gold to continue to rise although not as fast it's more so they say it just to preserve your wealth i don't i'm not too sure you know it's hard to make money on gold you know if you hold a lot of gold i don't know if you hold more than five or ten percent of gold it's expensive Excuse me, it's very expensive. I mean, $2,500 an ounce, $3,000 an ounce is very expensive to hold. Uh, silver or something like that is much easier to get a hold of for a common person, I believe. And, um, you know, I don't I don't generally hold a lot of that kind of stuff. But apparently a lot of people are making money off it. So um, it may be something to that. So the economic outlook, Goldman Sachs trims recession odds to 20% from 25% on, quote, strong data. So even though the unemployment rate is still above 4%, even though we have a 30 two trillion dollar deficit debt u.s debt load um and and more money's coming as the markets know that more money's coming more cheap easy money's coming as a result of a rate cut that's happening in the beginning of september by the federal reserve bank goldman sachs says, look we're going to trim it down to 20 percent now that recession chances are going down now because we believe that the uh, federal reserve bank is going to go back to quantitative easing the jobs report is coming out next thursday at 8 30 a.m eastern time we believe that that's going to be looking pretty healthy reasonably good so they're going to scale it back here but look we've spent 6.4 billion dollars in pandemic funding was received by foreign recipients not at the homeland not spending on the homeland here us at home we have spent so far this is according to pandemic oversight this official website of the united states government we have spent $6.4 billion in pandemic funding already. Now, that's not counting. This has been, this been back since 2022. So you got to add on the money that we've spent this year, too, as well, and last year. So we spent a lot of money on, on pandemic-related stuff and non-pandemic-related stuff. In foreign countries, approximately 2,000 recipients in 177 foreign countries received a total of $6.4 billion. Quote, these prime recipients were awarded approximately 4,000 federal contracts and 1,000 federal grants. So they're getting money hand over foot. All these places are getting money. Ukraine, Switzerland, uh, you know, Israel, Afghanistan, you name it. Recipients in Switzerland received the most funding, a quote, total of more than $2 billion. Now, this is on pandemicoversight.gov. This is the official website. This is not a uh, hearsay article. This is, you know, this is official uh, government website saying that they've given Switzerland more than $2 billion due to the large number of international institutions with headquarters in Geneva, of course. As you know, all the big uh, commissioners and all that's in Geneva, uh, you know, the World Health Organization and uh, the, the Davos, they meet at Switzerland, the big financial guys, the Bilderberg, all the big guys meet there. So most of the funding to these recipients in other countries has come from the DOD, Department of Defense, for military operations, and for the United States Agency, USAD, for, ref for uh, refugees. So uh, that's what we're looking at right there. We're looking at a lot of money being spent. Egg prices, can, and as a result of this money being printed up and spending out of nowhere, egg prices are going to be going up because they're saying that, quote, bird flu limits supply. But you notice we've gotten all these, a lot of these food recalls that we've had on CNBC, MSNBC, Fox Business, Yahoo um, Finance. There's a lot of, been a lot of food recalls, and not just in the vegetables and fruits. There's been a lot of meat recalls. There's been a whole bunch of stuff. These are going to work to increase the prices on the things that you need, that I need to eat on a daily 
daily basis. Um, and so that's why many Americans are cutting back. Instead of three meals a day, many Americans are cutting back to two meals a day and just call it like that and to have snacks through the day and they're drinking water to cut back. Many Americans are doing that as well as addition to cutting back to eating out maybe once or twice a week instead of eating out every other day for lunch at work or if you're downtown or whatever the case may be. So you can see that this is going to be affecting a lot more things and gas prices are going to be continuing to climb here as we go to the fall and in the winter time because of all the tensions that are going on around the world. So you can see the price for eggs. It was at an all-time high back in January 2023, and now it's on. It was down. Now it's back on the rise again. Now, as they say, the birds are getting sick, chickens are getting sick. You know, if you have your own chickens and you grow your own eggs, that's a, such a blessing. Um, you know, but a lot of us, you know, uh, in urban areas and other areas can't afford to do that. But it's a blessing if you do. Um, but this inflationary wave is going to continue in gas, food, transportation, utilities, hospitality. You're going to see more places asking for tips when you go to the stores at Walmart and Target and, and Starbucks. And all these places are going to be asking for tips and yay, darn near demanding a tip um, on these on these applications that you give them a tip and a gratuity because of these prices that are going up. Input prices that are going up for productions and for these businesses to be able to pass the cost on to us. That's exactly what they're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. So I thank you for your support today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you soon on uh, Monday and Tuesday when we get going in this work week here. God bless. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.